Welcome back to Max on Boxing. We are joined now, obviously, by rising boxing lightweight star Teofimo Lopez, now the mandatory contender for Richard Comey's belt. Teofimo, welcome back to the show. You're the first repeat guest. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. Andre Again. Ward doesn't count. He, he weighs in on some subjects, but he's a colleague. You're an active fighter, so thanks for coming back. Let's start with your performance this yeah. last weekend against mm -hmm. Masayoshi Nakatani, an undefeated Japanese fighter, who you beat on points. Not as wide. We didn't have it as wide as the judges had it. But nevertheless, you beat by a comfortable margin on the judges' scorecard. Um, and yet you were criticized for the performance, including by me. And you were critical of your own performance. Yeah. The floor is yours. The floor is mine. Uh, you know... It's a learning process, man. You know, uh, Nagatani, he came in to fight. And when you have those type of fights like that, you know, IBF, uh, basically, winner gets, is the mandatory to fight for the world title. You're going to have those type of fights. And it's a competitive fight. You know, it's a championship level type of fight. You know, um, was I happy about my performance? Absolutely not. I clearly have shown. You know, uh, I knew I won the fight. I wasn't worried about that. You know, the whole thing was more so of the fact that um, dealing with things in my personal life and all that, I could see that it took effect. Like what? Just uh, family issues, all, all, things overall, you know? You know what I mean? And We documented uh, it on the show. Yeah. You got married. Your mother and, mother and sisters did not approve. They weren't at the wedding. There's a lot of tension in the family. Is that specifically to what you're referring? Yeah, you know, you look at those things and you just say to yourself, you know, like, we, I, I've always been happy, you know, in the ring and everything. You know, these last two fights have taken a toll, you know, on top of making weight. You know, and that's another issue, you know, and these are things that we try to now talk about and work on, you know, and that's what I need. You point to three things. Let's break yeah. it down. One, Nakatani is a very good fighter. But at this level, you're going to fight a lot of very good fighters. You're going to have to figure out how to get it done. And you pride yourself not only on winning, but being a show and looking impressive. OK, yeah. so that's one. You're going to have to fight other guys like that, too. Your weight. Is there something that can change about your weight between now and a Comey fight? And then... Finally, three is the family issues. If those remain un unresolved, why should we expect an improved Tiafimo if those three elements, fighting a good fighter, is still going to be there, still at lightweight, still going to be there, right? Yeah. And, and the family drama will still be there. So why should there be a better version of you next? Because if we don't sort these things out, there won't be a fight between myself or Richard Comey. Because I have to figure my... I have to know myself, and I have to regroup within myself because I could beat all these guys impressively, and without any flaws or anything when I'm in that ring. But if Teofimo is not happy when he's in that ring, then those are the problems that we, uh, the only person that could beat me is me. And that night when I fought Nakatani, I beat myself that night. Okay. So those are the things. Um, the well, Comey you still fight, won, but. No, I still won, but it wasn't as impressive or as exciting as I usually am. You know, these last two fights have taken a toll, especially the Nakatani fight. But. I'm looking past it. You know, we won. We got the job done. But now I have this time span to figure things out before we get back in the ring again. So if these things don't sort out within this time frame, then there won't be a, a, a Richard Comey fight. Because you'll move up to 140. Not even when, move up to 140. I just won't fight until my mind mentally, emotionally, and everything is all back to okay. ground one. So, so it seems to me the family stuff and the weight stuff could be related here, right? In yeah. the sense that... Um, there are people making decisions for you that you feel like, no, wait a minute, I'm my own man. Your promoter, your, your father, your, hey, we want Lomachenko, we want to do this, this, and this. And you're saying, wait a minute, I, I want to control my own destiny. If I'm not 135, I'm not 135. Um, and, and I want to, to, to have a kind of, a, I want to, I'm the ultimate say in what I do with my life. That seems to me related to you becoming a man and, yeah. in your own right. And, and that relates to the weight uh, number one, and to the family stuff, number two, which are two of the three contributing factors to you're not looking so great last time out. Am I right or wrong? You know, what else it is, though, is the fact that not just my family, but my family is my team. You know what I mean? My father is my head coach. My mother, she was my nutritionist. So it all plays a part of those things. You know, um, they feel like maybe that we have split, but it, don't think of it like that. We're just working on things because if I'm not okay, none of this works. You know what I mean? And when it's all said and done, uh, like Timothy Bradley told me when we were in the fighters meeting, uh, before the fight, he says, the train don't start unless you are okay, you're good to go. You know, the train don't start unless you're ready for it. You know what I mean? And things like that we have to work on, and that's just what I'm doing. You know, I'm taking my time out, you know, and, you know, I'm going to spend some time with my wife. You know, my birthday's in a couple of days. 
And Congratulations I'm, on getting and, married. And thank you. You know, and I'm just staying positive now. You know, the whole thing is I know a lot of people are excited about my flaws or whatever it is. Uh, I still have my fans that are backing me up. You know, and I just can't wait, man. As long as uh, everything goes according to plan, man, I know God is with me. And I know that, um, you know, it's for my host, man. Uh, two fighters passed away. Two fighters. Two fighters. One that passed away under in my card. The Dashev. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, another fighter that just they just announced, Hugo from Argentina. And you think uh, that has something to do with gaining weight or, or, or losing too much weight the day before the fight, stuff like that? I honestly... It's a lot of things, man. Look, we go out there, and I think the fans, casual fans, fans in general, or the, the critics, you guys do not understand how much wear and tear we do to our body just to perform out there and just to entertain each and every one of you all. Um, we put our life on the line each and every time. You know what I mean? And, you know, uh, and for people to criticize us because of a bad performance or anything, we're still here today. You know what I mean? Uh, but you're, may, may I mean, he that, rest in peace. May the other guy rest in peace. It sucks, you know, to see that, especially right before your fight, you see those type of things happen. If you, know? you do take another fight, yeah. and that fight is Richard Comey, who went from, in my view, a I'm, guy they're setting up for T.O. to beat to a guy like, uh-oh, careful, careful with that dude. How are you going to beat Richard Comey? I'm going to beat the hell out of him. And it's all honesty, man. Nobody can beat me but me, and I said that already. And last, uh, my last fight, with Nakatani, I beat myself that night. You know what I mean? Uh, I wasn't there mentally. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it whatsoever. You know what I mean? But so I still... So you're not going to fight again until you feel it? Yeah, until I feel that, that excitement, that, that joy to get in that ring and to, to feel back at home. You know what I mean? Like, it's a, it's a whole different feeling when I'm in there, you know? My tunnel vision is not there. It's wavy. You know, 17 years doing this, 17 years. And, of course, it's, always, it's only going to get harder. It's only going to get tougher. The opposition is only going to get bigger and tougher, uh, and we know that. But when you have your inside circle, uh, there's a little cracks and stuff here and there that's wobbling, that's when things get a lot more difficult. So you will fight again, but I will not fight until... Again, not until everything is straightened out and organized again and back to ground one, Every, when we're a unit, once again. You know what I mean? Uh, it's a lot of uh, who's and what's and what's going to happen next. But none of this is going to happen until everything is sorted before out. I, before I let you go, yeah, there was a lot of talk, especially from your dad, but also from you, about Vasil Lomachenko. Do you still have your eyes on Vasil Lomachenko? That's a fight that everybody wants to, wants to definitely see. And um, obviously, I want to make that fight happen. You know what I mean? We could clearly see that he's mad. We could clearly see that, I mean, anybody could see that right now. He's mad, and um, they're happy. Now they want to talk. Now they want to talk after my performance. You know, they weren't talking before that. You know, and now they want to talk after. I, I, I gave you guys the confidence, man. And you know what? That's a good thing. Everything happens for a reason, and I'm going to take that, and we're going to use that now. Yo, I appreciate you coming on and always being forthcoming with your answers. Thank you very much, and good luck. Thank you guys so much, and I appreciate it. And to everybody, man, honestly, it's, uh, this, this is a beautiful opportunity right now and I'm grateful for every opportunity and right now we just we're gonna take we're gonna take a step back and regroup man and Teal Fimo is definitely gonna be that knockout artist and that entertaining fighter once a, once again man. Thanks Teal. Thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus.